While it might not make or break your mile times, understanding heel-toe drop can help you find the most comfortable ride possible for your walks and runs. Here's what to know and why it matters. Heel-toe drop effectively quantifies the difference between the amount of cushioning beneath your heels and the amount of cushioning beneath your toes. It's best visualized as how big the heel on a shoe is. A high heel-toe drop means a steeper slope and more heel cushioning. Barefoot runners, on the other hand, preach the power of a zero heel-toe drop, since that would essentially be your naked foot. In general, a high heel-toe drop of seven millimeters or more is best for runners who strike heel first, or have issues with their Achilles tendon, or who often wear shoes with an elevated heel. Conversely, a low heel-toe drop of six millimeters or less is best for runners who land in the middle or front of their foot. So, does it really matter? Well, if you're transitioning running shoes, you'll probably notice a difference when going from high to low or vice versa. The switch to a lower drop especially might lead to soreness in your calf or Achilles tendon. However, at the end of the day, personal preference takes precedence over specific heel-toe drop numbers. Understanding heel-toe drop can help experienced runners who like to cater to their foot strike, but for most of us, don't overthink it. Be sure to drop a comment below with some of your fitness-related questions. And stay tuned to Lifehacker for more tips and tricks on how to do everything better.